welcome to the grade 5 science class today we're going to discuss the reproductive parts in plants and their functions the reproductive parts in plants it have two modes of reproduction the sexual reproduction and the sexual reproduction in a sexual reproduction it needs only one parent to reproduce its own kind. The three types of sexual reproduction are the vegetative propagation, the fragmentation, and the spores formation. In sexual reproduction, it needs two parents. The plants have male and female parts, and the flower this is the organ of the sexual reproduction. The plant sexual reproductive system, it involves the male and the female reproductive organ. In male, the stamen is the male reproductive organ. It consists of the anther and the filament. For female, the pistil or the carpel, this is the reproductive organ. It consists of a stigma, style, and ovary. The plant reproductive system, take a look at the picture. It has male and female organs. The stamen. The parts are the anther and the filament. These are the parts of the stamen. And for the female, the pistil, it consists of stigma, style, and ovary. The three are the parts of the pistil or the female reproductive organ. In ovary, there is an ovule, and there are accessory part, the petal, the sepal, the stalk, and the receptacles. The male reproductive system, this is the stamen. In stamen, it consists of anther. The anther has two lobes that contains the pollen sacs. The pollen sacs have pollen grains. This is the pollen grain. The pollen grain is also called the male gametes. And the last one, the filament. It holds the anther and it's, it is tall enough to release the pollen. And for the female reproductive system, this is the pistil. It consists of the stigma. The stigma is the swollen structure that receives the pollen grain and the style. This is the stalk that connects the stigma and the ovary. And it's also tall enough to trap the pollen grains. This is the ovary. It contains the ovules. The ovule has the female gametes or the egg cells. That is what we call the ovum. This is the accessory parts of the flower. We have petal. The petal is the obvious part of the flower and this is brightly colored and the group of petals is what we call the corolla next is the sepal the sepal this is what we call the mo modified leaves it also protect the flower when it is still a bud and the group of petals is called the calyx and we have the receptacle 
The receptacle, this is the upper end of a flower stalk. This is the, the stalk or the pedicel. Next is the pollination. Pollination, this is the transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma. And the agent of the pollination are the wind, the insect, and birds. There are two kinds of pollination, the self-pollination and the cross-pollination. This is what we call the self-pollination. The self-pollination is the transfer of pollen grains from the same flower or different flower in the same plant. For the cross-pollination, this is the transfer of pollen grains from the anther of a flower to the stigma of flower from another plant or the same kind. For the science trivia, Rafflesia arnoldii is the world's largest flower found in the rainforest in Indonesia. It can grow to be 3 feet across and weigh up to 15 pounds. It is a parasitic plant because it has no visible leaves, roots, and stem. It giving off the scent of a rotting flesh.